Hi there, hi again friends. I am here with you today. It's the start of another new week. I hope you all had a fabulous weekend at home and had lots of activity outside. Um, I'm starting my morning with you inside here, but then we are going to go outside and I'm going to introduce you to a simple, just very simple homemade outdoor kitchen, which was just like a table low to the ground that I'm going to do an activity with you. Uh, a couple days this week, I thought I would bring you outside and we can do different activities at my outdoor kitchen. I wanted to make a prop box or a basket here with you of different things that you might be able to find in your kitchen that you could bring outside to play with. Um, <clears throat> those may be things like plastic things, um, but you'll want to ask your moms and dads to make sure that what you bring outside is okay to use because it may get dirty. Um, so I just wanted to show you some things that I've assembled and I'm going to keep adding to my prop basket over the course of the next couple of days. But I just had a couple simple things that I may not use today um, because I have another idea for you. But we are going to make our prop basket. So here we have just some muffin liners. I'm gonna tuck those in my basket. And egg cartons, those are fun to play with indoor or outdoor. A colander or a strainer that you can use for different things. This is good to use when you're doing water activities outside. A wooden bowl. Some chopsticks. And some plastic wear. So over the course of the next couple of days, like I said, we're going to do some loose part games and different things with plastics and wood, wooden things. And this here is a little shaker and I put the leftover salt that I had from when we did one of our carnival activities and I made the salt bottle. So I was going to use this today. And <clears throat> some old Play-Doh. I've had this for a while. And when I'm done using it inside, I tend to bring it outside and I can use it with different things outside. So today, um, I'm going to make what's called a mosaic with you. I'm just going to make a small little ornament using my Play-Doh and a couple other um, items that I have outside. So I will see you in the next clip. We'll go outside and we'll do the second part of our activity. Hey, we're back. We're outside now and I wanted to show you what we were doing in my outdoor kitchen. As you can see, it's just very simply set up with a couple of stools and this piece of wood. And I thought it would be fun to make a little Play-Doh ornament. I just put some of my Play-Doh that I showed you inside from my old batch of Play-Doh and I put it inside this lid and I used to love making mosaics when I was young and I thought we could start with some different beans so these are kind of small um, it's good for fine motor but you may also want to use some bigger items you may not want to use what I have here I'm going to start with some beans I have some different beans and some lentils so when you're making a mosaic, you can create any pattern that you like. And I'm just going to follow the circle of my lid here and make a pattern all the way around the perimeter here. So yes, your outdoor kitchen, you can bring any sorts of things outside to play outside with, to have an outdoor classroom of sorts. It's always fun to do new and creative things, indoor or outdoor. So since I brought my pressing this ball in, I brought my shaker of salt. 
<clears throat> it may not show up after I make all my design, but I thought it would be fun to shake this on anyway. Shake, 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 shake. Oh, it's looking like a little pie tart. <laughs> I could just leave it like this, but I'm not going to. So I'm pressing that in, but that's kind of cool so far. I'm just going to keep adding layers. Next, I'm going to do the brown beans. I mean, the black beans. These are even smaller to use. So if you think these might be too small, you, again, you don't have to use exactly the same materials that I'm using. You might find some nature items that you want to poke in Play-Doh to make different mosaics. You could use some rocks. You could use some pine cones. into the play-doh you can do so many different things with your old play-doh this is very calming <laughs> it's a great way to start my morning making a piece of artwork I have room for one two more beans oh that one's kind of a skinny one. I need a thicker one. I'm going to press this all in. And now I'm just going to, instead of using my pincher grip, I'm going to use a little bit more here and just add a little pile in the middle and press it all down. If they all don't stick, that's fine. Bye guys!